Yeah. Did you know there are just as many fresh fruits and vegetables in winter as in any other season? Here to show us some great winter specialties is Chef Jonathan Waxman, owner of Barbudo Restaurant here in New York. Jonathan, good morning. Good morning. Did How I say you? it right, Barbudo? Barbudo means beard in Italian. Oh. Yes. And you my don't serve be beard, do you? We don't serve beard, okay. but we have some partners that have beards. And we have actually a dog uh, that my partner has called Gideon. Who's got a, he's an Irish wolfhound, and he's got a beard as well. There you go. Okay. But let's talk about winter vegetables. What's in season right now with fruits and vegetables? Well, the, the amazing thing about the winter time, winter actually is really a great time for fruits and vegetables. We have a wonderful, we have pomegranates. Fennel really isn't a winter vegetable, but we call it winter. We have some beautiful blood oranges down here, some Belgian endive, some Trevisiano. And the thing I love the best- What's Trevisiano? Trevisiano, see that purple sort of, that sort of long, elongated, looks like an endive, uh -huh. that red, the red things sort of sticking out there, and that's the most delicious lettuce you could possibly eat. Then we have Brussels sprouts, and Brussels sprouts to me are really indicative of what the season is. And these are cooked in a little bit of bacon, pancetta actually, butter, cream, and Parmesan cheese. Yeah, okay, so what are we cooking today, okay, and so how can do, I help? We're gonna do a little cod, and I'm gonna actually put a little bit of olive oil in this pan here. And if you could salt and pepper that cod for me, that'd be great. <laughs> oh, you haven't seen me cook. Um, just correct me if I'm wrong. I'm just kind of sprinkling it on. So, you know what? Broadcast it. Do it up oh, high. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Do it up high. There you go. I need music for this then. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. Da -da -da. And then just some pepper. Up high also? Up high. Up. Always do it up high. Why? Just for the effect, the look? You know what? You want to do it actually evenly all over. Oh, and that works better this way. That's oh, perfect. I thought, I thought you were talking to me like it looks better on television. No, no, it has nothing to do with TV, though it does oh. look good on TV. Okay, okay. And we have these beautiful pomegranates, and what we're gonna do is, because this is beautiful cod, it's what we call day boat cod, which is caught that day from Massachusetts, and it is the most beautiful fish, and it has a little skin on the bottom, and we're gonna put it in this little nonstick pan, and it's gonna cook very gently today. And why don't you take the fennel, we're gonna cook the fennel a little bit. I need you to cut it up. Now I've quartered it for you, so turn it so, over the other way. Oh, this way? There you go, now okay. don't kill yourself. So here's the technique with a knife. Always away from yourself. Okay, maybe you should do okay. it, okay. or so, you start. So here you go, you just, you just kind of slice down. It doesn't have to be anything more than a couple of downward swipes like that. You, okay. You try. Okay. So wait, how, um, what kind of heat is the stove on right now? You know, the stove is on medium for the fish, mm -hmm. and the fennel's actually a little bit higher. We've actually, I've actually cooked some fennel ahead of time, so we're gonna heat that up. Alrighty. And wait, 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 when you're heating up the fennel. The fennel, any... because I've already, I've already pre-cooked this because we don't have enough time to do the, do the okay. whole process. It would take about eight to 10 minutes to cook the fennel. Because it's a root vegetable, it really needs time to really cook well. Now the fish, you can start seeing, it's already starting to cook nicely. And what you do is once the, the skin side is set, you flip it over. See how beautiful the skin looks? About how long on each side is? You know what, you want about two and a half minutes on a side. Okay. And because we don't have a lot of time today, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually make the sauce by adding a little bit of what is Meyer that? lemon juice. And that's in season now. Meyer lemon is the most delicious lemon. It's a, it's a hybrid of mandarin, orange, and lemon. Okay. We're gonna add some butter right to the pan. Wow! Whoa. And what'll happen- That's is, gonna be so delicious. What happens- And now I know why. What happens is that the, the, the acid from the, from the lemon will actually emulsify the sauce. Here's, okay. the, here's the best part, pomegranates. Now did you, you, you should buy it in the store that you know, looks like a hole and they're, you just pick them out. Aren't they beautiful? Yeah. And I'm from That's California. Probably. These are actually California pomegranates. It's, they're antioxidants, they're great to eat. They, and the nice thing about this dish, it adds a little bit of crunch to the dish. Yes. Now I've already actually cooked one right here. So we're gonna plate this up. Okay, can I help you with that? Yeah, you can put it right here for okay. me. Okay. And we're gonna put, see how beautiful the fish looks? Yes. Now That's only great. do it with cod or other fish works. What's that? You should only do it with cod or other no, fish? No, no, you can do any kind of fish you like. In fact, I'm really the kind of person that have fun with it, you know, don't, yeah. don't, there, there are no rules, essentially. And you wanna see how the pomegranate started cooking the sauce? Yeah. Get a little salt for me. Yeah, and we have about 15 seconds left, so. And we're gonna just, if you, we're gonna put some salt right on top, if you could. Okay, like da 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 da. You did very well. Oops. Maybe not too high, because now it's going off the plate. <laughs> we're gonna turn all this off. All right. Here.